It's time for Eric Plays Human Resource Machine, Episode 2. Hey guys, I uh, tried to play before and uh, didn't work out so well. Right, I've got this over here now, so we'll go open here what's going on. Um, that is... There we go. That's too low. There we go. Much better, much better. Alright, so uh, there we go. Let's jump right in. So, last time I just realized that uh, this was a puzzle game. I love puzzle games. And I love... Um, <coughs> Little Inferno. Alright. So we want only three ad commands. So, um... Two to the third is eight. So I wonder... Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. So if we take an inbox, this steps me forward one. All right. Let's see here. Copy to here. Then add itself jump to here. Let's see how that goes. So it grabs one, <coughs> copies it there, adds it, copies it, adds it, copies it, adds it. I think I'm in a, stuck in an infinite loop. <laughs> All right, so I've I have, oh, I overflowed. All right, um, well, it says just three add commands, so maybe I'm overthinking this. Times eight, right? So I need to. I need, I need to double it. Oh, and then copy, and double it, and copy and double it. I think I've, I think I've just essentially done two to the third. All right, and then. Uh, I'll box it and jump. I think is what I wanted. All right, let's see that how that goes. That's certainly the right number for the case of two. Oh, no one's complained so far. Let's speed things up. The other one's gonna be zero. Did I do it? I think I did. Hooray for knowing uh, powers. <coughs> the Tetra Contiplier. Let's see what happens there. What a wonderful feeling when all your work over the last few years comes together and culminates in a well-executed assignment. Each thing in the inbox, multiply by 40 and put the result in the out box. Uh, by 40, huh? <laughs> so if I call 40 two times. Two times twenty. Let's see.
Well, 32 is a power of 2. Okay, maybe I could do that. Let's see. So if I take something in, copy it here, and copy it, uh, nope, copy it there. Okay. I want to add, copy to, All right, so I want to do this eight times. One, two, three, four. I think I've done that eight times. So two times 32 would be 64. So let's see if I've got that right. Times thirty-two. Oh, sorry. I needed to just do this five times. Stop. Uh, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five. Think would get me to the right place. Um, and then then I think I want to leave it there. Then I want to grab this one. And I want to do the add and copy. So 32 and 8. Okay, so three times. Oops. Then I want to copy that back in. Then I want to grab this one and add it to this one and then jump back to the beginning and a box. I, this can't be the most efficient solution. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh no! I forgot to outbox them. There we go. <laughs> I think. I think I got it, but this is, this is ridiculous. I did it! Holy crap! 
That's awesome. Oh man, way too many commands. Way, <laughs> way too many steps. <laughs> All right. Um, crap. <coughs> hmm. Do I... Let me try one more time. Holy crap. Alright, so I think this is a new... Okay, so this is a new try. Okay, I like that. Okay, that's cool. So I get... I can, like, save three different tries. <coughs> 40. Alright, so I did it in terms of powers of two, and that was ridiculous. Um, well, I have four slots. Well, five slots, really. Five... Times 8 is 40. Okay, maybe that's the solution. Okay, so grab this. Copy here. Copy here. Copy here. Here. One, two, three. Oops, that's the wrong one. Alright, so now I've got... Got uh, five, five times eight, right? So for each of these, I want to do three things. Okay, so add. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I technically want to do each one at the same time. So I have the right number in there. And I want to do one more at the end to save it there. Yeah, I think that's right. Alright, and then some do some ads here. Oops. No, 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 no. Uh, copy to... One. Alright, I'm at... How many commands did I need here? 24. I, th I think I'm gonna way exceed my commands at this point. 24, right? Yeah. There's something I'm not... <laughs> I may be trying to jump this too far ahead. Yeah, there's no way this is not this is Oh. Let's see if I'm at least right. Yeah, this is not this is a worse solution than I had before. Yeah, I'm ready to forget this one. I I can't not right now. All right, let's do a zero exterminator. Or do you see yourself in five years? Or ten years? I have a note here from your other boss that says, this spot on, your performance will be evaluated at extra scrutiny. What a treat. It's on all things that are not zero <coughs> to the op box. <laughs> Alright. So I grab something. I want to jump back to the beginning if it's zero. Go to the apex. I think that's it. I think it's a nice easy one. Let's see. Oh, whoops. I forgot there's this jump too, which would be here. <laughs> Throw it on the floor. Alright, I think I got it. 
Hooray. Ah, so this kicks in whether or not I'm doing the side challenges or straight up this way. It has come to our attention that the Zero Advocacy community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time, send only zeros to the outbox. What happens to the other numbers and letters? Management leaves that detail to you. So I need this one here. And I'll go to outbox. And then another jump at the end to make it all go through. I think that's it. Nope. Screwed up there. I want to jump back up here. There we go. Alright, I got it. Alright. Exactly the right amount of commands. Oh no. Hmm. I get the second thing here. Alright, so they want. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I think I know how to optimize this. I gotta think in a different way. I'm gonna grab something from the inbox. If it's zero, I'm gonna come up here where outbox is? I don't know, let's see what happens there. <laughs> Try to be too clever there. What if I put one more jump? I'm on the right track, but I need to start again. Let's see. I think this gives me the wrong solution now because it puts this in the up box. Over here, I've got five. All right. Let's try copying this one. I feel like having these two is what's making it redundant. But otherwise it's gonna stop after the first one. I do that. Let's see. Nope, it throws everything away. Alright, if I run my original one. Okay, what I get is the number of commands before it finishes. So if I use more commands, maybe I can go faster?
Alright, let's try... Let's try inbox. Jump of zero. What do I have to do here? Okay. To the app box. Do a jump here to copy it here. I don't know if this is, makes any sense, but. And then a jump around the outside. <laughs> All right, let's just go to the next level. Traction. Never learned that in school. Did you? We're in a good team. We're a good team. Subtract the first from the second, put the result in the outbox. Then subtract the second from the first from the outbox. Alright. So. So grab something. Put it here. Grab something. Put it here. No. That. Well, yes, because otherwise, how am I going to do the, the backwards one? <coughs> Track the first from the second. So now I want to copy from this one. No, I don't want to do that, do I? Subtract the first from the second. No, so sub this one, then up box. Let's see where that puts me. Let's see here. So now, <coughs> got three, got five, subtract three from five and get two, put that in the outbox, then Then in the up box, then jump back to the top. All right. All right, let's see here. So let's see if that works now. That one. Got seven. Subtract one from seven. Subtract seven from one. All right. <coughs> Probably gonna get the average. Oh, hey, look at that. I got both of them this time. Excellent. Now it's time for the 
equalization room. Sometimes, some numbers are bigger than other numbers, and sometimes, they're the same. How can we know? Why is there even more bosses? That's a good question. I read about this in this great book. Which number are you for the aspirational zero? You can borrow it later. No, don't push buttons. Alright, I've got comments now. Sweet. Hello world. The prototypical comment. Alright. Let's get rid of that. Alright, if they're equal, put one of them in the uh, box. Alright. So get something. All right. So basically, what I'm going to do is make them. If they subtract and equal zero, then I'm good. So put the first one here. Put the no. Now subtract with here if it's not zero go back to here no there we go get to outbox and get back up here so I think I got it let's see I like these people up here watching me in notes. Ah! Back. Alright. So... If it's zero, I need to grab... What I had there? Let's see. There we go. <laughs> nice. I thought I was going to be trapped there because of absolute value, but came out okay. Basically, this is the only one I haven't finished yet. Oops. Alright, let's do this. There's been a change of plans. The accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equally is no longer profitable. Management wants the big numbers only. Put the bigger of the two in the outbox. If they're equal, pick either one. So now we've got jump is negative. I'll grab something. Put it here. Put the B 
bigger of the two. All right, grab something. Put it here. And I've still got it in my hand. So I want to subtract from this one. So let's say I have four and one. And I subtract one from four. If Okay. If zero go to app box. If negative um no, whoops, if negative then copy from here and outbox and if otherwise jump here no yes no and this would be grab this one. All right, let's see what happens. We got four. We got one. They're negative. Put four in there. Right. We still have to do the end jump. Grab one. Grab seven. It's not negative. Uh, hmm. I think what I need is another jump here. Um, all right, six, nine, three, throw it away. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. Alright, um, this has become too complex. Let's start again. Alright. <coughs> Grab something. Put it here. Grab something. So I'm going to subtract one from zero. So I think I want to jump to no, yeah, e copy from one. So this is the one where that one is is uh, this one's the bigger one so now if it's negative I want to jump over here I want to copy from zero oh and I need to outbox it and then jump back to the beginning if it's negative I need to copy from there outbox it jump back to the beginning and if it's zero, I 
I need to copy either one. Outbox it. Jump back to the beginning. I think I got it, but I'm not sure. So far so good. I think I got it. <laughs> Is that funny? Alright, I did it. Oh no. Oh no. So I did the right thing in the wrong way. And that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long distance telephone service. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. <laughs> massive army of machines has surrounded the city. Oh. The machines are not moving, and they are not communicating. Local authorities are investigating. That's scary. Alright. And I achieved career milestone too. Alright, I think I'll leave it there, guys. I will see you next time. This has been Eric, playing Human Resource Machine. I'll see you next time. Bye.